Good morning everybody, so I've literally just woken up and I thought I'd film for you guys today a foxy eye makeup look because I'm getting on that trend and it looks super pretty so I thought I'd glam myself up today. It's a Sunday so there's not a lot going on so I thought I'd glam up and then just enjoy it. <laughs> So the exciting news is I'm also going to be trying out some new makeup brushes. So I've got a collection here. These babies right here. So as you can see, I haven't opened them yet. They're all brand new. I cannot wait to play with them. Legit, I've been waiting for this video just being able to like actually open them and use them. Like, <laughs> I'm so excited. So I was kindly sent these products by the company EIG Show. I believe that's how you pronounce it. E-I-G Show cosmetics brushes. They have a beautiful range of line. They even have vegan brushes. They're going to be coming out with brushes made from like basically almost I think it's 99% recycled materials which is absolutely incredible. I'm so for companies that are moving in a more sustainable like direction kind of thing. So if you can see I was given the classic brush kit in rose gold and she comes with 12 brushes. As you can see, there's a few face ones and some eye makeup ones, which actually I'm all for because I have been needing some brushes that are more intricate for the detail work that I've been doing in my, in my more, like, harder looks, more detailed looks. If you guys aren't really interested in the makeup brushes, I will leave a timestamp for you guys down below if you just want to watch the makeup look. Anywho. What I really love is that it actually came with a little travel bag. How absolutely freaking cute is this? Like, honestly, it has a little brand name at the top. It's rose gold. It's cute inside. You have your little pockets, like pouches for different products. You put the brushes in the middle. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and it feels like decent material. It's not like the cheap synthetic, like, shitty plastic ones, you know? And I love the little brand symbol on the... The zipper, I think it's so cute. Anywho, without further ado, let's get to the makeup look. <laughs> so, what I'm actually going to do is because my skin's feeling really dry, especially in this like wintry weather, it's very, very cold. I'm actually going to apply some day serum to my skin and then I'll go on with the eye makeup just to let this kind of sink in. I've used these in a few of my videos and I've done an actual review on the Goody Co. like acne cleansing range and stuff, which is what this one came in. But I like this just to hydrate my skin. It's quite a natural product, so there's not a lot of nasty things in it, which, of course, I'm always, you know, for. And I'm just going to massage that into the skin and always take it on an upward angle on your neck so you're not pulling that delicate skin. You can use this as a primer. It does say you can use it as, like, a primer before makeup. I'm just using it to kind of hydrate my skin. So, like I said, while I'm letting that sink into the skin, I'm actually going to apply tape for this foxy eye makeup look. I have been seeing this look a lot, sorry, like a lot on YouTube and things like that. I just think it's such a gorgeous look and I want to try it out for myself. It doesn't look too complicated either so it'd actually be perfect if you're going back to the office again, like you started work up and you're actually going out and you have to do your makeup. It's such an easy but very flattering attractive look. And I'm just such a fan of like a smoky liner so you can't really go wrong. I'm going to take it, because it is kind of like a foxy eye, so you want to kind of continue that eye shape along. So instead of my eye, like I always like my wing liner to be quite up, I'm actually going to take it out more. Okay, I'm going to have to stick any bottom lashes down, of course. I think that's about even. I think we're good. So I love the tape trick because it is a perfect guide. Like you cannot really go wrong with this, and especially because we are using a little bit of liquid liner. It's nice to have a guide, especially if you are a beginner. What we're first going to take is a transition color, just to give a bit of dimension to the crease. Actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I forgot to do my brows. So I just quickly went and did those. I'm just going to go and prime my eyes before we go in with an actual transition. Transition. I can't talk. So I'm just going to go in with my Max Soft Ochre paint pot. And I'm actually just going to take it on my finger and apply it all over the lid. So it'll act as a nice base for the eyeshadows to stick to as well as concealing any of like the veins or redness, like the discoloration on the lid. Okay, so as I was saying previously, we're going to take our transition through the crease to give a little bit of dimension and just map out the eye shape. So I'm going to use one palette today. I'm just going to stick with the original Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm going to take some of, I think, Silk Cream or Made for Each Other. I'm just going to dip into the two. 
on my Ego Show blending brush. This is the E811. And it's got a nice little fluffy top to it. You can see it's a little bit flat because I haven't used it at all yet. Oh, I don't want to use it. They're just so clean when you get them, you know. So just taking those two shades, I'm just going to start mapping it out, just blending that through my crease. Mm. Damn, these brushes feel so nice. I haven't had new brushes in like a hot minute. It has been like a few years since I've ever had like new brushes and they're just so soft. And I'm just taking that along that tape line as well from the outer corner just along and kind of really, really dragging that out along the tape. These brushes are really nice. Just one little thought that I had when I was unwrapping it with all like the plastic. They all come in all this kind of plastic. And I know it's like a hygiene thing. I just, I'm not a fan. Like the more we use less plastic, the better I think. Alright, so once we've mapped out our initial kind of eye shape look, like you've got that kind of V shape going along the outer corner of the eye, a bit through the crease too. I'm going to take a angled brow brush. So I've taken this angled brow brush. This is the Eyebrow E817. And I'm actually going to dip into Central Park. And I'm going to stamp that along that tape line. Flicking it out all the way along. I want it to be quite extravagant. And I'm also just taking it about a third of the way along my eye. I've actually brought that about two thirds of the way across instead of just a third. I wanted to bring it a little bit more across the lash line. Then I'm going to take this little small smudge brush. This is the E832. And I'll take some of Puta on that smudge brush. I'm just going to kind of blend out uh, that deep brown kind of wing liner that we've created. And this brush holds so much pigment to it. I was like, ooh, I applied too much. I might even take a bit of mocha actually because I feel like that pooter shade's a little bit too light and I'm just blending out the look. And I go back and deepen up Central Park again and then take some of Mocha. Then taking that initial blending brush with whatever's on it I'm actually just going to soften the edges just so it's not so harsh. So once I've done both eyes, I'm going to grab a liquid liner. This is my Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner from Maybelline. It's got a nice fine tip to it. And I'm drawing a literal like micro thin line along my lash line. Starting really thin and it can get a smidge bit thicker. Nothing too crazy, like I don't want anything that much. So it's just like a thin line, as you can see, nothing too thick, because I do want the smoky liner to be like the feature with this foxy eye look. I am going to, however, like extend the inner corner. So this like little bit of skin here, I'm just going to extend that out. Then I'm going to take another small smudge brush. This one's called the E834, so it's also a smudge brush, just a different kind of shape, more of a dome shape. And just taking a wee bit of mocha, I'm going to smoke out that inner corner. Alright, so that's done. Can you guys see how my eyes look a little bit more almond shaped? Like, it definitely elongates them so, so much. Damn. So next I'm going to actually grab a nude eye curl and line my bottom waterline with that. That's all I'm going to do for this, like, foxy eye look on the bottom lash line. Because as you can see, with the dark shape on the top, it's giving me that fox eye really extended look. If you're going to apply shadow or mascara or anything on that bottom lash line, you're going to immediately round out the eye, which is like kind of defeating the purpose. So just having something light will open up the eyes and make you look more awake without rounding it out too much. Next, I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes and apply some mascara. This is the Colossal Mascara from Maybelline. And for lashes today, I'm going to take my Anitude lashes in the style Feisty. So as you can see, these lashes are shorter on the inner corner, longer on the outer corner. So they're just so elongated and foxy and wispy. And they just kind of suit the eye look because they do kind of go from short to long. So it does create that almond shape look. All right, now it's for my favorite part, which is always to peel off the tape. Like, ugh. Yes, oh my lord, yes. It's just so crisp. That's my favourite thing, guys. Whenever I use tape, I always look forward to peeling it off and getting that crisp lawn. Okay, now it's for foundation. So I've already primed, 
primed. I kind of just moisturized, like hydrated my skin. So I might do another primer. So I do want a more hydrated base today. It is winter. It is a lot drier. So I'm going to go in with this coconut smoothie hydrating primer. This is from HelloFab. I've used it in a fair few of my tutorials. So it's going to create a nice tacky base for our foundation to stick to. Plus it's going to smooth over these breakouts that are textured and also really, really dry and cracked. So it's going to help kind of get rid of that crusty look to them. I don't want a crusty look to my skin. Okay, so the next brush I'm going to take is the Ikcho F624. It's a flat kind of kabuki brush. Oh god, that's so soft. They're so right when they say that like, their bristles are so silky soft. Like, oh my god. I am more of a beauty blender than a brush user. I mean, I go through phases. Hopefully it's not too streaky. Like, it creates a nice, smooth application. So, for today's foundation, <laughs> don't mind the lipstick. I'm going to take my Airborne Perfecting Liquid Foundation. Wow, that didn't like pick up and like soak up any product at all. It just blended it over the skin. Oh my god. I was literally expecting half of my product like half my product to go. I know why I just was. I think that's what I'm used to, like with all my other brushes, they just soak up like all the product. But this one literally just blends it out. Oh my lord. It gets such a nice crisp line. That's what I like about this brush. See how it's a little bit angled? You can get right up along that cat eye line. Like, can you just see how flawlessly it's blended out that foundation? Sorry, this is my shitty work. I can't even blend it all over my face. Definitely if you were to get a single brush, I 100% recommend the foundation brush. Like, it on its own, I would 100% purchase, like, 10 of these. <laughs> I just love them so much. So I'm going to take a highlighting concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. So it's actually a little bit lighter than my natural skin tone, which is, like, more medium beige. And I'm just going to apply that to my inner corners. I actually don't like a lot of concealer under my eyes. I get a lot of creasing otherwise. Down my nose a little bit. I'm actually going to apply it to, like, all the way along because it's going to snatch the face a little bit more because it's going to create a highlight there so it's going to actually like lift the face up like you've had a bit of like a facelift I'm just going to go in with that foundation brush again and blend out the concealer okay so for face powder today I'm actually going to take my Laura Mercier Universal Translucent Powder so this is the large powder brush Oh, it feels so good. So I'm just going to dip into my cap and apply that under the eyes. Basically anywhere that we concealed. Next I'm going to grab their angled contour brush. This is the F610. I'm going to dip into those two brown shades from my NYX contour and highlight kit. I'm actually going to start like uh, bronzing the skin. Also creating a bit of a contour too. Always blending upward. You never want to bring your contour down because you're going to lose that structure. And another little trick I'm going to do is actually just kind of swipe upwards just here on the temples. Create a bit of a shadow so it is creating that lift. Creating a bit of a shadow, lifting the face. And to actually like contour my nose, I'm actually going to go in with this eyeshadow brush. This is the E831. And I'm just going to contour my nose. Just snatch that a little bit. And I'm bringing it from the brow all the way down the bridge. And then just softly blending that out. So this little baby here is the F604 blush brush. So I'm just going in with this ombre blush. This is this Tequila Sunrise shade from Faux Calore. I'm just going to be placing that right along the contours. I'm not a apples of the cheeks fan. I'm definitely more of a chilled, sleek back blush look. Oh, it applies blush so nicely. Oh, so pretty. So finally, for the highlight, I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well as my cheeks and things. So to highlight my face, I'm going to grab that contour brush again that we used before. And I'm actually going to use a few different highlights from this Folklore Superstar Highlighter Quad. So I'm going to take some of this like bronzy orange shade and the pink highlight. And I'm just going to apply that to... The high points of the cheeks. 
and also into the blush. Like I'm going to grab a bit more of that pink shade and just apply it into the blush. It applies the highlight really nicely too. Almost blends it out as it applies. It's really, really pretty. Okay, then I'm going to take that lightest highlight from the palette and apply that to the highest point of the cheekbone. I like to have a transition of highlights. I think it looks more natural than just one. Plus I'm just, you know, extra. I just love as much highlight as I can get. Then I'm going to grab that small shader brush and I'm going to apply that lightest highlight to my brow bone. The very arch at the very high point. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. And that's going to lift the eye as well. Alright, so for my lip colour today, they do actually give you like a little lip brush. But if I'm being honest, I don't actually like using like lip brushes. I prefer like to line my lips and then I'll just go in with the lipstick itself. But there is an option for you guys to use the lip brush. I'm probably just going to use it for like detailed work with eye makeup um, because it is so pointed and petite. So for my lip colour today, such a hard decision. So I'm just going to line my lips with this itty bitty nude lip liner. And this is in the shade Natural 049 from Rimmel. Oh, it just gives me such a nice, natural, like overdrawn lip. Oh, I love it so much. So I've been a fan of this kind of pinky nude shade. It's more of a rosy tone. I think it would just match this like lip so, so well. I don't know what the brand is, I'm sorry, but it is more of like a yeah, rosy tone pink. And I've just been loving cream lipsticks. So, oh, I just feel so nice on your lips. Oh, that is pretty. But I want a bit of an ombre, so I'm going to take this Zoeva liquid lip in the shade Purple Thora and like apply that to the very centre of my lips. Oh, I love that so much. Doesn't that just give you such a facelift without even like really trying? Like it's just such a simple look, but it's so so effective. Oh. So the three brushes that I didn't actually end up using today were the large crease brush, the eyeliner pencil, and the lip brush. So these are the three that I didn't quite get to, but even in saying that, like, you can use these in another look. I know I'm going to be definitely using these two in, like, a more intricate eye makeup look. Like, mm, they're just so defined. So this, guys, concludes today's Foxy Eye Makeup Tutorial slash brush review from the EG Show brushes. You definitely should check out their website if you are interested in purchasing some makeup brushes for your collection or anything like that. I think they've created this look so nicely. Oh, and it just gives you such a facelift. I love it so much. So if you guys are interested in any of the brushes that I use today, I'll leave the set down below. You can check out the brushes individually on their website, I believe. Um, and they do have a lot of sales going on, so there's definitely a recommendation to snatch some of those up. Also, I do have a discount code for you guys, and I'll leave that linked on the screen as well as in the description bar down below. And I'll leave a link straight to the website. Well, guys, guys, thank you for watching. Please give a big thumbs up if you did enjoy this tutorial, and also subscribe down below to my channel. So you can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. As well as hitting that notification button so you can stay tuned for my upcoming videos. <laughs> I love you all so, so much. Thank you for your love and support. I love reading your comments. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you very, very soon. Mwah. Bye, guys.